All this week on CBS 2 News this morning, we're celebrating the program, students and teachers and public schools throughout New York. Well, today, Audrey takes us inside a school in the South Bronx, a very special school. They're not only making the grade, they're also making school really fun. Audrey? Well, Mario, the programs that are available to teach and inspire students today are nothing short of amazing. At the School of Science, Mathematics, and Technology through the Arts in the South Bronx, to say that they make learning fun is an understatement, to say the least. Take a look. There is an oasis of learning tucked away on the fourth floor of this school building in the South Bronx. Traditional classes to be sure, but add to that three state-of-the-art computer labs, an award-winning math program, and Legotronics. You know, building robots, simulating Mars surface, and computer programming. It's all just another part of the day here at IS-318. This is a robotics program that's been running for a year and a half at IS-318 now. And the kids learn engineering, mathematics, uh, building, all sorts of different things, computer programming. What they're basically doing is they're taking the Legos to build a robot, and that's only half the battle. Then they have to program the robot using computer programs that they're learning. So they learn a bit of everything. They learn, like I said, technology, mathematics, engineering. Ian Miller is the social studies teacher who oversees this program. Telling a kid they can play Legos, play with Legos, is just like, you know, giving candy to babies. They, they want to come in here. They want to do it. They're given something cool. Something totally cool. Something that inspires teamwork and learning. That applies intelligence and imagination to make things work. This is what you like to do after school? Yeah, sure. Pretty much. What else do you like to do after school? Uh, sleep. Yeah. <laughs> the curriculum comes from the nonprofit First Lego League. They designed this comprehensive program to simulate the mission to Mars. Here they have to clear some dust off the solar panel. They have to operate a launcher over there. They have to get the rover stuck off the sand dune. Things that are very similar to what actually happened when the Mars uh, Mars rovers landed. Ooh, look at that. The first time we got that one to work, everybody just erupted in cheers. Oh, that's great. How are we doing the programming now? Very good. Okay. These kids are excellent. Uh, uh, we are just so proud of them. This is only part of Principal Maria Lopez's vision for this school of 500. She has special ed students working at the same level of the classes they are part of. She has Saturday computer classes for parents and only the highest aspirations for the performance of this school. I developed and implemented the school from the very beginning, from requesting approval to the chancellor to actually what the school is today. Mm -hmm. And my goal is not finished here because I really, my goal is to continue giving a private education education in the public sector. We're looking forward to be more more technology advanced yes. so our kids actually be able to, to to be ready for the world outside. But to the world inside Legotronics, it's all about challenging and engaging. So how do you like this class? It's cool. Yeah, why is it cool? Because we get to play with Legos. Now if you could only be paid, wouldn't that be nice? Yes. <laughs> get a job playing Legos. Well, I guess that's what I'm doing right now. <laughs> You can't believe the complexity of some of the robots and the tasks that they perform. It was interesting to watch the kids and how they absorbed what they were doing with their work. Thanks again to Ian Miller and his class and to Principal Maria Lopez. Mario, over to you. And to you for bringing us a story, Audrey. Thank you very much.